Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues. Of course, I guess this is a 5.0 update. With technically, I'm still playing on early access at the time of this recording. But uh, yeah, we're playing as the Northern Cons, and, and uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna talk about without a con. While the Northern Cons faced many of their own troubles, theirs paled in comparison to what Papa Con's band of great cons now had gone through. The wind blew into level from the south that morning, bringing with it a heat, and tinge perhaps of blood in the air. Something has happened. Who are these strange faces? Bitter springs in the NCR, while Amgalon, Aston, and the other cons of the north were putting down roots and considering to move into the future. How to move into the future? Part of the south disaster was brewing. The great cons of the Mojave Wasteland, having already been pushed out of Vegas, into the hinterlands now face violent displacement once more. And since by one too many raids against their holdings and traders, the NCR forces in the Mojave mobilized a full-scale attack on the cons in Bitter Springs. The attack came at a time when Papa Khan himself was away leading a raiding party, and those who remained steeled themselves for a last effort of breaking out, or at least providing an escape for their non-combatants. The attempt would have sent them straight into a kill zone if it were not for any of the timely return of Papa and his men coming home earlier than expected. Papa Khan and his warriors struck the NCR rear guard with a furious assault, cutting down many of the attackers and drawing the troops away from the front of the battle. It would not... It would not be enough. The NCR had brought far too many soldiers for the cons to have any hope of routing, but the chaos gave those who remained in Bitter Springs a chance to push out all at once and had broke through the line. It was Regis, having been left behind in Bitter Springs that day as Papa's right hand, who led the breakout, then lingered behind as his people fled. He saw Papa fall that day, cut down by the concentrated fire of a dozen or more soldiers as well as sniper fire, and the image never left his mind. Once he could wait no more, he turned his own back and, ca and ran to catch up with the others. Papa will not be forgotten. But, that does not tell us who shall lead next. As we're still at war with the ghouls to our east, and, uh, yeah, we're still going to do Ralston construction projects, and pushing Ralston forwards. Clearing the way is one thing, but we ought to make sure we know what we're doing first. Let the boys get cracking and see what they can come up with. And the Nuka-Cola bottling plant, fate is on our side after all. An old Nuka-Cola plant is down the countryside, had an immense stockpile within it. Like a treasure, we simply stumbled upon. There's plenty of scrap in Nuka-Cola to go around. Which is fantastic. Well, what do we got here? And they're still attacking us a little bit too, which is actually kind of nice. Stonks? Yes, please. Got a little decent amount of money. Still want to do more military setting bonuses and then help our settlements out too while we can. Um, special forces, break through an attack and whatnot. Yes, please. Where's my guy? We're going to need him. Special attacking here. Very nice. Cool. And our guys have been doing a little better, but another home lost. Oh no. With Papa Khan lost, uh, it fell to Regis to decide the Great Khan's, Great Khan's course. With enemies on all sides and a number of non combatants and wounded to care for, he made the heavy decision to leave the Mojave Wasteland. Revenge and the lust for it weighed too heavily on some of the Great Khans, and a few chose to seek their fortunes on their own, prompting another parting of the ways. Regis, for his part, however, knew that seeking vengeance would be the death of them all and discarded the idea. Remember the old stories from Papa mentioning a group of new cons who struck out on their own long ago after the fall of Darien? The great cons headed north in hopes of finding their long-lost cousins. They could think of no better course, with both east and west growing more and more dangerous. The journey was a tough one, with the travelers forced to dig up a long stale rumors and scrabble for supplies the whole way. Not a few towns they were forced to fort, forced to fight as well, as the wasteland, uh, and its often hostile inhabitants took a toll on them. By the end of it, Regis felt... Tired? Proud. Proud. Right now, where are we at? We are at high support for the uh, old ways. High, high, high support. Loss is a thousand, not good, but versus twelve hundred, so we're, we're they're catching up to us. If we can, just beat on on through into there if we possibly can. And we have them. We should. We want to move around a whole bunch, so we're going to start doing this too now. We need you all to hurry up. You have that feeling they will reinforce eventually. That one division over there. Nice. A fortunate reunion. 
Amgalan, Essen, along with a number of other warriors, made their way to the border, scouts had reported. A large group, many armed, approaching Khan territory. The scouts had kept their distance on Amgalan's orders, instructed to stay as far away as possible while still keeping the travelers in sight. The old chief had an odd feeling about it all, feeling strangely excited. The rest of his people were ready for a fight and were already taking up defensive positions, if it came down to it, but Amgalan had taken every intention of asking questions first. He backed up onto an old ridge overlooking the trail. Essen clinging behind, he waited for the new arrivals to approach. They were as wary as they came, slowly walking but openly, clearly aware that some kind of welcoming party was awaiting them. There was a large group of people, including adults and children alike, most wearing various leathers and scavenged clothing and many carrying weapons that kept their arms at their sides and backs, however, a detail that Amglan did not fail to notice. Once they were within earshot, Amglan called out, Who are you? So many walking into the land of the Khans. The response was an unexpected one. We are the Khans. Three days later, Regis sat by the fires with Melissa, Jack, and Di Diane. Some of the people he trusted the most after the long exodus north. They had actually managed to find the long-lost cousins, and they had been quick to welcome the great Khans of the Mojave, after an initial period of intense and surprised questioning. Many of the northern Khans seemed impressed at the tales of the southern counterparts and happy for the sudden reunion, though Regis wasn't sure what to make of it yet. The conversation inevitably turned towards the hosts. That Omgali guy seems nice, Jack offered, his arm draped around Diane as they passed back forth the cigarette. A bit too nice, both Melissa and Diane counter, almost in unison. He still looks pretty buff. Bet he could chuck me pretty far, but bet his ass and lady could too, Jack shrugged. I do like her, Melissa said, smirking as she walked to the fire dance. Hey, Reg, you know, I got the idea a lot of these guys want a new boss. Why not you? Regis didn't answer right away, considering her words. It was true that some of the cons they met seemed to have little love for their soft-spoken chief. That didn't mean he necessarily wanted to be the chief himself. Finally just broke the quiet with a simple, maybe, more manpower. The Mojave cons fleet of Wyoming becoming available as advisors and unit leaders. From boys to men. Millennia ago, during the reign of the old cons, boys would be trained in the ways of a warrior from a young age. Archery, horse riding, campaigning. It meant the very day they became men, they were already well versed in the art of combat. We can emulate this to reduce the amount of formal training needed. Just frustrations. Falaya stormed into Amgalan's tent unprompted. The heck do they mean when they call themselves the Great Khans, huh? Seems like they're just a bunch of great crapheads. She threw her hands up, grunting angrily. They don't listen to us. They chug booze like it's a gosh darn sport to make the entire camp smell like a lab. What are we going to do about them, Amgalan? He shrugged in faint agreement. We must earn their respect. They don't fully understand that we're their family yet. Her eye twitched. We gave them somewhere to go. Isn't that enough? Now they're up here running our crap into the ground. We're supposed to just accept that? Hearing what they've been through, I don't think I can blame them, Amgalan rested his chin in his hand. We all get restless in time to strive, we just have to be there for them, and guide their hand. But this isn't just restlessness, Amgalan, it's recklessness. They're self-destructive, they want blood, and I don't think they'll stop until they get it. Many of us do, just look at Eston, even myself, Amgalan said, watching her expression turn to one of surprise. Uh, it's human nature to crave vengeance, really. When I was younger, I hunted the man who killed my mother, an NCR ranger, and I cut his throat out with her knife. I thought I'd feel better for her, tougher, if you can believe it, he stared through her. I never felt as powerless and lonely as when I watched him bleed out. Revenge, anger, they both divorce the mind from the body. They won't, they take your character and make you into a shell. His eyes lit with tears. I won't let them go through that. I took Falaya a moment to gather herself. Then you know what? This is bad, Amgalan. There's a whole new set of cons who haven't changed like we have. I know that, he sighed, placing his hand on her shoulder. Regis and his people are good. If they weren't, I wouldn't have let them come here. He softened his gaze, hushing his words. We can understand them, be there for them, without agreeing with them. She took a deep bre deeper breath, eyeing him with concern. I just want you to think about it, okay? He nodded, and she left him to his thoughts. Steady, she goes. As, uh, we're trying to get in a circle here. Um, it's not going great for us. But we're doing alright. They're, they're attacking us as well, which is kind of nice. You know, we're going to keep attacking here, too, because we definitely need them to go bye-bye. If we can circle them here, it makes it easier for everybody and everything else to destroy them. But from boys to men, which we read earlier, so... If you want to read about that, please go ahead. It's not bad. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, which one do we really want to do, though? Because we have our storyline still going on. Uh, for, form the Officer Corps. A dedicated Officer Corps is necessary for streamlining both training and organization. The Mongols understood this, and so do we. I'm the very model of an ancient Major General. I have informa information of vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the Khans of Kublai, and I quote the fights historical, from Yu Hling to Dao Hui Gu, in order categorical. And keep it up. Keep beating the crap out of them. They're going to attack us, and it's fine. Economic and growth as Casper is fantastic. And we can't promote anymore, which is fine, whatever. Yeah, a good amount of money, though. It's good to see. Let him attack us. Atreus falls ill. In service of the Northern Khans, it seems Atreus, or Treris, Atreus, has pushed himself too far. Uh, as a result of the black, bad climate in their operational area, he has now fallen ill and will likely need some time to recover until he gets well, he will not be performing at his usual level. It's quite unfortunate. Quite indeed. Let's 
So this is Essen. Smooth talker. Reinforce all faster. Negotiator, planning, yes. Three four is good. Almost there. Where'd that other division go? It was infantry armor, I'm not sure where it went, but. Uh, new cons? Being a con is, isn't all about blood. There are hundreds of tough, tribal folk that'll fit right in with our flock. All we need to do is lay out the welcome man before long they'll come knocking. Come on, we are so close. Two warriors. Melissa opened fire, her spray of bullets shredding the wings of an oncoming blood bug and sending it crashing to the grass. She finished it with a boot to the head while her flank essence swung her axe in a wide stroke that split the head of another of the monstrous insects. The noise roused the rest of the nest, they'd volunteered to clear out, and they were soon embroiled in a short but fierce battle, with each watching the other's backs. <clears throat> they journeyed out of the wilds together, chasing stories of an insect nest that had grown out of hand and starting attacking hunters in the area and getting to know each other along the trail. Each found they enjoyed the other's confidence and company, and the trip had felt like light work. It was Melissa who eventually found the nest itself and countered the, uh, the monsters, and both had agreed to tackle ahead on without delay. When it was over, both were unscathed and surrounded by blood bug corpses, each regarding the other's handiwork with respect. The teamwork had been easy and natural, with Melissa calling out targets and Essen, intercepting any that threatened to pass through the gunfire. No more blood for those bugs, Essen dryly remarked as she wiped her blade clean. The other woman laughed at the unexpected joke and slapped her on the back good natu naturedly. We should do this again. Hey, more worse, but nice. So we did well. Let's get some more organization first before we move on and do anything else here. Uh, I like the infantry part, but I might switch him to lead foot eventually. So let's just go with recovery rate first. Because that's always important to do. Um, defense. More organization. Yeah, I like that one. Let him, uh, let him attack. Let's see what happens. Support for account authority is high, which is what we want. Uh, I'll close out of that one too. That's fine. I didn't realize there was a second tile down here. I thought there was only one. Really, all we need is this one. Honestly, we can milk the army XP too, so that's fine with me. 2,000 manpower reserve for now, which is not a lot, but still. It is what it is. Before these guys start starving for stuff here too. Oh, they're actually winning, huh? Why do we start attacking here? Uh, you know what? Let the special forces beat that. Oh, can con scouting party? Nice. Form department. Oh good, their leader is sick too. We have intel advantage, we've got air superiority. It's nice. It's good stuff. New cons. There'll be housing. We repair. Before they fall off, really. Mm, clearing Bighorn Lake. To our east, Lake, Bighorn Lake lies infested with raiders. They've built themselves a small fortress that we can repurpose to further operations should we choose to pursue it. Very nice. Up now. Some of these guys should really be having their organization completely destroyed. Not bad, not bad. Ninety percent, not bad. Oh, we got rid of one division already. Oh, we got rid of second, the second attacking division. And now, they're really going to be paying here. Good amount of money. You know what? I'm going to do this one for more weekly war support because I like the war support. Nice. Let's go ahead, go in. Motorized. They're looking a little better. They got chems. We need more mobile teams, though. We got one there. Cousin Dale's going bye bye. Super close. Keep dropping it, keep dropping it. And boom. Fantastic. So that took way longer than I would have liked. It's way too many men for that. But it is what it is. Actually. Marshal Republic. Barson. The prospect would be nice. Prioritize living standards. What else do we have about the store here, too? Which I do want to know as well. Army Raiders versus Rangers of the Conate. More army XP gain? I like that. Your forges would be bad. 
Reliability air attack. Probably do this one though. Oh yeah, so we did want to do the left one is very good. But guerrilla warfare, I mean I guess this one doesn't really help us out too much for that part. Coordination. Experience getting coordination. Army of Raiders. I mean we're going to the old ways anyways, aren't we? The Great Khan. Rangers of the Khanate. An army of raiders. That seems like it would be the thing we would do. Our greatest failures run at the hands of incompetence or a lack of organization or any high-minded nonsense like that. The worst thing to plague a force was a lack of strength, raw power. But who knows more about st uh, strength than those petri rejects of the wasteland? Those brutal wars that society forgot to scoop up during its rebirth. So this will help with or organization, which is nice. Uh, more org army XP game, more attack, factory output, arms workshops, more attack, output, coordination, army XP gain, and all good stuff like that. Carlton. Grab a territory, huh? Guerrilla warfare. We don't have to meet any, any the enemy in the field, nor do we have to honor any supposed rules of war. No. We'll make the cross. Our turf like crawling across a pile of nails. Death by a thousand cuts. A war of never ending attrition. Drugged up partisans around every corner. Ha ha. It'll be effing beautiful. Death of the ego. The way sound spent about the last 200 years trying to convince us that it's monsters that are most brutal, unforgiving, screwed up things on the planet. You know what I have to say to that? Hold my jab. That's a gosh darn challenge if I've ever seen one, and we'll be darned if we let the wasteland win another one. Fall in the future, if we can if I ask her entirely. No. Still gotta wait. So, how do we get, like, mobile recon support? We need recon. We mobile logistics. Logistics companies. Mobile maintenance. Maintenance. They're down in my but that doesn't work, huh? Kind of disappointing, but okay. The crossroads. Ever since arriving in old Wyoming, the cons under Amgalan are separate from everything or something of an identity crisis. It's only been put into sharper relief by the rival Regis and the great cons of the Mojave. It has fallen to Amgalan to call together the cons, greatest and most influential members to discuss what comes next and how to move forward. There are those who believe in Amgalan's vision of a settling down in peace alongside the followers of the apocalypse. The folks tired of blood and going into it alone who wish for comfort and stability. They'll see Amgalan's role not just preserve but expand it so its authority is unquestioned. Some have been drawn to Essen. Captain by it or talk of guarding uh, against further disasters through overwhelming strength and impass impressed by our conviction. These followers wish for a return in glory and even a re revenge against a harsh war wasteland. They see a raise to the top and speak of the kind of, of countate old Darien would have dr only dreamed of. But there are those who wish for no great challenges at all. They want to raid, live, and continue as on as the cons have always have. The great cons, and particularly Regis, have become examples for these traditional rally around, and they hold that it may be time to give Regis a greater position of honor. Amongst the cons, the man is also worthy of leadership. At the end of the night, long meeting, it was decided the cons wanted to be cons. Ooh. Uh, Regis arrived as a stranger in a strange land, but that wasn't all that was strange to him were the northern cons. Though their chief Amgulan adopted a light touch, it's clear that the 40 years apart haven't made the rest of the cons all that different. Welcome to the open arms, where Regis already holds an outsized amount of influence among the cons, and it's a freedom to act as chief in all but name. Might be in names soon, too. The warrior. Uh... Lighting the fires, meeting at midnight. Fire council, huh? If they've been defeated, then such triggers an event to reach out to the survivors. Invite still Joe. Come join our fire. My conate for a horse. Exiles just like us. If they succeed in defeating MacArthur, we'll give the Enclave lands to the Jacksons as a rifle lens of their family. Honor the promise. Give the lands of the Enclave to the Jacksons as we promised. In return, the Jacksons will give us control of their old territories. The Horsemen. You get horses, which is pretty cool. Uh, Midnight Marshals. Night Watch. Hellshark Monroe. Gecko. Meeting Midnight. Basic Power Armor and immediate, Intermediate Power Armor Tech, which we don't really need Power Armor. Powered Cons. Questioning scribes. It's kind of insane to think about. Meeting midnight. The only one they show honor. Honor's pride from sister. Slayer of sisters. I really don't want horses too much, really. Oh, protected storage, salvage car. Um, good man's word. Proving themselves, non core manpower. I like the political power, too. Motorized attack. Well, I have a good man's word. Amgalan has given Regis a very long tether, unwilling to 
to go against the clear popularity holds among the cons. The old chief has much to say, though, and Regis was always good at listening. As we sip our tea. Good old tea. Of course, we could use this as well now. <coughs> Work on our special forces. What if we had cavalry and motorized? That'd be interesting. But then what's the point of the land doctrine, then, with the what route we've gone? Because, so with asymmetric warfare, army includes everybody. Army includes everybody. Waste on tactics. Does locals include horses? Seems like it probably should. Because it's just law keepers and militia. Uh, enforcers, enforcers, walking infantry, which do, and the walking infantry obviously does not include cavalry. Army, infantry, does infantry include horses? No, they don't. Includes motorized infantry. Uh, so that's why I don't like it. Infantry, does it include horses? It does not. But what about refined warfare? Fighting support units? Colorado mutant support? Hatchings of the Great Leshy. No. Non combat support units? No. Army, army, army. Heavy special forces. Yeah, I'm not sure which one you want to do for horses, so let's go with good man's word. Our old acquaintances. The Khans of the Mojave were once friends of the followers of the Apocalypse, but well, they eventually parted ways due to certain disagreements about how to use their teachings. As different here, though, and Regis can see that occurring, courting the followers' favor is only going to help us out from here on out. Open infiltra initiations. The Great Khans have never been very strict about where we come from. And anyone can be a Khan if they're capable enough and want to be. Putting out word that our doors are open should draw on some folks to fill out our ranks. Our heritage. The Khans' past is one of struggle. Of ambition and willingness to spit in the face of those who control us. Of getting back up when we're knocked down. It doesn't always work out too well, but it's who we are for better or for worst. Far Sun's core territories, huh? Marshall Republic. Metal Mouths. Uh, Yellowstone... Yellowstone Park. First ecologist. The original ranger. Huh. Well, okay. Of course, we could also go to war with the last readout, too. Hmm. Look at this guy, Regis. The great cons are always on the way on the way back up. We always bounce back and always will. Oh, more compliance. Uh, daily lead support max planning division defense. The one-time right-hand man of Papa Khan has been forced by cruel fate to rise to the occasion and lead his people out of a disaster. Now he's risen once more, placed in a position of power to aid the Khans north and south and becoming one. He does not speak with full authority as of yet. Amgalan still holds a nominal position above him, but Regis has found quick support among both the Khans' camps. It's a difficult tightrope to walk and to try and please everyone while following his own heart as well. He has a good counsel to aid him, however, and his pragmatic approach and even temper will serve him well in his work. Interesting. As we do, a question. And we'll follow up with our old acquaintances, too. Or we can do the warrior next. Essence is a relative newcomer to the cons, but a fiery spirit and determination to protect a new tribe has garnered more than a few admirers. If Regis will one day wield the full might of the cons, warriors, he'll need her respect. A question. I'm glad and Regis sat together, sharing a meal and discussing plans for the cons' future when the conversation took a turn towards the past, with the older man saying, I know Papa Khan, you know. When we're both little more than boys, each of us young men leading our friends and followers out of the disaster as best we could. Hesha seems to enjoy repeating itself, unfortunately. He gestured towards Regis with an understanding look on his face before continuing. Tell me what, how do things go for Papa? As much of the stories you know. Before Regis spoke in the arrival in Vegas, of the brief time of strength being before being forced out into the wilderness by the house, by house and his three families. Of the arrival of the NCR and the Brotherhood of Steel. Of disaster at Bitter Springs. Um, both men sat quietly for a time afterwards until Amgalan broke the silence, asking while staring at the distance, Do you think Papa should have led you differently? Right, I just turned his head quickly at the question, but before he could respond, Amgalan held up his hand and clarified. I mean, I mean no offense to his memory or courage. What I ask is more whether you think the Khan's ways brought them to all these disasters. Our days as raiders and seekers of power do, do seem to often end in death and forced migration, do they not? Do you think it's sustainable? The younger man considered for a time before answering? Maybe not. Army, energy, cell consumption, better defense of court territory? We just weren't strong enough. Ooh, more HP. I like the HP. We just weren't strong enough. Strong for the future. Is this going to determine which route we go down later? Combine the Khan heritage and Khan spirit into new ideas and increase bonuses from the Khan heritage idea. Yeah, increase bonuses from this Khan spirit idea. Undying spirit. Um, let's go strong for the future.
Pragmatist with a true heir. Um, let's start again. Intermediate support tech. Arms workshops. Drug labs. Advanced drug labs. Spirit of Genghis. That's kind of cool. Um, are we... Who are the cons? The Guardians of Wyoming. The Wonders of Yellowstone. It's not bad. Research speed goes up. Honestly, I kind of like the proud past. Strong for the future. The proud past. The promising future. Reinvent themselves. The proud past. Ah, let's go with that one. Shooting sticks. In the Mojave, the Khans had to fight frequently, whether it was raiding the NCR or facing off Cazador swarms. Many different people learn gunsmithing on the side to keep us stock and give them better workshops of practice and will give us a leg up in supplying our fighters. Bigger motors. Out on these open plains and steps, there's a lot of ground to cover. Motorcycles have been uh, enough so far, but it's time to see about getting some of these old cars moving again. Our spirit. To be a con is to be a warrior. Not many of us can take a punch and give one right back. The willingness to get right back into the fight when we take one inch, or take one on the chin, is the con spirit. So we got the marshal over here, which we can't do. We got midnight marshal, which we can ally them. That's four out of five. It's over there, and there's one down here. So we do get a war goal against them eventually. Well, we're going to be raiders, and we're going to keep pushing ourselves doing this too. Um, so let's take a look. See, meeting at midnight. Good folks are going to stand with us to create a union with versus lighting the fires. The cons are more than capable of standing alone, but even the strongest warrior benefits from companionship. We can look to those neighbors who have similar spirit and invite them to share our fire and each other's burdens. It seems like this would make more sense for us to go down instead of doing this route for now. Yeah, I mean, power armor's nice, but we really don't have a use for it, I'll be honest. Over here, you have less focuses and less options, but still. Midnight Marshals would sound cool. I think I might do lighting the fires. Yeah. Is the neighbor, is the neighbor, the fathers. Well, the forefathers are strange, perhaps. And they're related to stranger. Uh, but they're nothing if not straightforward. As long as they're allowed to access their gods at Rushmore, they should make for trustworthy allies, but a duel. Mm, let's go down this way first. I don't have political power. It's not much, but... There wasn't a better way to get to know Essen than to spar with her, and so Regis found himself often facing against a woman across from a circle of dirt. Both tested each other, taking pot shots and making feints before returning to the distance. Uh, a number of cons looked on, including Melissa and Ezekiel, who seemed to be placing bets on who would come out on top. It was Essen who drew first blood, driving her elbow into his nose as he made a wrench... Uh, her other arm back, so just how great are you, Khan? She asked after he shoved her away to get breathing room. Enough to get here, enough to handle you. He caught her across the chin twice with punches that stopped her advance before she shoved him to the dirt with a vicious boot. The crowd watched, cheering, or murmured in response, unable to hear the conversation, but enjoyed the back and forth. How'd you manage it anyway, getting across the ways? She adjusted her jaw as she strode forward. His response was a spray of dust and gravel picked up, pitched up into her gray eyes, followed by a sweeping blow that took her off her own feet. Regis was on top of her quickly, capitalizing off the under... Underhanded move to gain the advantage. As intends to try and counterattack before he reached down to offer a hand up. Now he did answer a question. I did what I had to. Relentless. More speed and reconnaissance. I kept them safe. Safekeeper. I like that one, but this seems to make more sense for us to do. Relentless. The past and the present. A question has been on Regis's mind in recent days as he gets to know his northern kin better and assesses his situation. Who are the cons? He knows some of the answers without a doubt, but the rest of it might be up in the air. I'll have to figure it out soon enough, though. The proud past. The cons are. Th are who they've always been. We're fighters and we don't give up. Doesn't matter who we are, we're gonna make the most of it. Don't forget it. From Regis. Combine the con heritage of the con spirit into one new idea, increase the bonuses from the con spirit idea. So, con spirit. Let the rangers lead the way for now, it's not bad. Con chem operations. Get more attack. Iron steeds, never forget California. Wyoming weaponsmiths, Wyoming warriors. Crazier than fiends, and them has fallen through, not good. Con heritage. Con spirit. There you go. The tactics are nice. I'll grab some of those too because we can. That'll be good. Um, I actually probably should continue doing this too. Marshall Republic ain't doing so well up here. Montana Brotherhood, Stan Rock versus Marshall Republic. Uh, Fire Sun is. Oh, they broke across the river. Oh, that's not ideal for them. I would like to beat them up eventually. Armor Harding is pretty good for guys. I don't like that our technology level is so bad though. That does worry me. Um, 
because we're going to be going up against some pretty seriously strong opponents here. So, yeah, it's not ideal. Because we did get that one done. Now, just tanks. Can we even get tanks? I guess that's my question, really. Nice, there you go, there's that one. And what lies beyond? We don't get this far without a fight, and there's no chance we're going to keep going without a few more. We need to be ready for whatever's on the horizon, even if it's wearing a whole lot of power armor. Heavies. Um, Middle Mark, Montana Brotherhood. Uh, Great Park, Far Sons, Great Stampedes. Well, this is what next. Just because they actually might win, and if they win, we can still go to war with them no matter what. And I don't want to drag their divisions away while we're waiting to go kill them all, basically. You already join the NCR. We need more fighters. That's pretty normal. Oh, I'm going to do that. You know what? This is probably a bad idea. Go and convert them all. Radio interception. Very nice. We're all about speed. Also, we are just fighting on the last readout, too. And we have to have savage cards, which are pretty nice. How many military factors do we have right now? We have to build five more. You know what? We'll do it. Three. You start here. And we're on veteran training, military academy training. That'd be nice. Lighting the fire. The fathers, big daddies. That's right. Metal men. To the north are a gang of raiders, quite unlike we've seen in our map before. With limbs of steel and faces filled with machinery, they're an imposing sight. To their, their boss, a brutal man by the simple moniker of Steel Joe, is willing to deal with us, however. As long as we don't hold him back, we can be allies, or probably never friends, really. Down the expedition. Nice. Ooh. Cool. Send you along that way. See what happens. Um, so, this side's almost completely done. Unfortunate, I know. Uh, signs. Cool. And I, we're just doing this so we can grind some XP. That's really why we're doing this. Hurts our stability, hurts our, you know, war sport, but he's going to learn. Zico Enderiz is going to learn a lot. And he's good in defense, too, so. Did we start losing here? The fathers, the whales of whales. Whalus. Roger sat at the table, uh, listening intently as Whalus Thomas finished their tale. Hearing about how a tribe died, no matter how they were in relation to the cons, would always remind him of how close his own tribe had come to extinction. His guest finished her tale, but before Regis could speak, she added, Though I am grateful that your tribes granted me sanctuary, I must speak of my misgivings. My people both have been destroyed, our way of life vanished from the face of the earth. I understand that this is the nature of the rule, for even the gods I have worshipped for my entire life once lost their people, yet I refuse to allow myself to be party to such acts of violence. I do not know your tribe's story, but I know the story of your name. They were monsters, brutal killers, and destroyed all that opposed them. Why should I believe your cons are any different? I just pondered for a moment, knowing that he could only give her so much assurance before answering. I won't lie to you, the great cons have shed their share of blood. We've been raiders in the past, sometimes without much reason to it. In the end, though, we're just doing what we have to do to survive. I don't like hearing what happened to your tribe, even if it's a story I've heard of across the wastes. We can try and be better, be stronger. Old Amgalon would definitely want us to be. I'm giving you a chance to help us be a bit better. If that makes you feel better, we could really use your knowledge to help us. That's what I've got. Do you believe me? She nodded in silent agreement. Wayless. Oh, right here. Progressive mover. The progress mover. Wayless Thomas, once of the four, uh, once of the forefathers, now stands as both an advisor for the Northern Cons, strong-willed and stubborn, yet detesting all forms of violence. Her agreement um, has uh, to work with the Cons only operates on the promise that it would try to be better than those who slaughtered her tribe. Time will tell that promise is genuine. Eh, probably not. But since she's unique, we're going to grab her and use her anyways. Uh, one more. And building up some roads, too. He's more political power as well. 65, very nice, very nice, very nice. They're still attacking us, which is good. Did they win here yet? No, oh, they're getting closer, good. I like it like that. Very nice, Play this one, too. Metal men exiles just like us. The Jacksons are a fiery clan, burning with spite and revenge, thirst for revenge. While that makes them dangerous neighbors, that also means that it's simple to negotiate with them. If we swear to aid them in return to their old homes, they will help us in return. If invite them to our faction. If they've been defeated, instead, invite Neil Jackson to join as a unit leader. If succeed in defeating MacArthur, we'll give the Enclave lands back to Jackson as the rightful lands of the family. Well, what lies beyond first? 
We didn't get this far without a fight, and there's no chance we're going to keep it going without a few more. We're going to be ready for whatever's on the horizon, even means wearing a whole lot of power armor. And drugs are just uh, part of the culture. You just can't... Uh, oh, look at that. Go this far. You're not going to stand by and help you as you start peddling. Drugs every poor soul around. This is a betrayal of our mission. Justine was furious and I'm glad was silent. Your mission. We're just giving people what they want. And getting paid for it. Sorry if you can't handle that, but we're the great cons and other cons of the apocalypse. Roger just kept his tone even, but Justine grew redder in the face with each word until finally she stormed out of the room. We lose 10% stability. You get three more war arms workshops. And give more political power to So Overall, it's a W. I thought we were supposed to be raiders. We can't raid anymore. Nothing we can do there. Uh, I guess we might as well go scavenge tools. Makes sense. You know. There you go. Oh, they're oh, they're a Dakota Republic. Look at that. Jack Reed, like John Jack Reed, like CSA Jack Reed. Hmm. Unfortunate. Regis, come kind of later. Steel Joe. Ooh, Steel Joe looks really cool. You know what, Steel Joe? That makes perfect sense for you to leave this. There he's rooted, he's inspira oh, he's already inspirational, I love it. What lies beyond, my friends? What lies beyond? Just a family business. We're more than just fighters, we're arms makers and traders. In a right, we can take both of these things and make a real industry of it. If we try hard enough, we'll have more guns at the end of the day, at least, and that's worth it, you know. Where do you go in and start racing around him? Is that possible? Because we do have more gliders and whatnot, too. Hey, we've already killed off a couple. Oh, we're fighting, yeah, two people. That makes sense. Can they pierce us? Yeah, sort of. Kind of can't pierce them, too. Which does kind of suck. Move as frickin' fast as you possibly can. Um, maintenance, I guess. That'd be good for our guys here. Right, that's the okay, case. So you know, you can hold. Just hold for now. They are attacking us. At least we're mostly winning. That's good. Money rolls in. Diane's been hard at work expanding her network of clients with cons products are known now from the Black Canyon and Calgary and everywhere in between. Jack and other can brewers can barely keep up as demand increases, but you can't argue with how much money it's bringing in. It's good. Yeah, they can definitely pierce us. Using using this type of division is very, very difficult. No wonder the great cons are defeated in the end. So we might not end up going to war with them in the end, too. We'll see. Because we can't really do much against these guys. We've lost a lot of guys versus these folks. You know, we've got a lot of them, too. Got off our fair share as well. Of course, we're better on attack than defense, anyways, but still. You guys are still doing alright. Yeah. Five divisions, my god. How much manpower do they have? A thousand. Up to 39 divisions, we're out of manpower ourselves. That's not ideal. I may redo this, maybe. Maybe wait to go to war with these guys. Maybe. Money rolls in. A gun without a target. We've got our arms production wrapping up as we stockpile weapons. It does beg the question, uh, who are we going to use them on? Might be time to start talking, uh, taking a serious look at the neighbors and see if we can't answer that question. New possibilities. Oh. The Enclave were a bunch of guys, but they knew a thing or two about technology. Uh, the labs and engineering bays are full, chock full of stuff for us to pick apart for our own use. Maybe we can finally perfect some ultra psycho? Well, I can't for a horror. So horror is... A, Animal unfamiliar to us outside of legends of yore. Well, we certainly don't come from a legacy of animal husbandry. We stand to benefit immensely if the horses can be integrated into our own methods of life and war. Oh, this one. The Con of Cons. The time of debate and dispute is over. The Cons have spoken out loud and in clear support of our new path. What today is only the beginning of what is to come and marks an important day nonetheless. A toast. 
Nuke a cold bottling plant, of course, pushing uh, Ralston forward. So instead of trying to fight uh, the Marshall Republic, we're going to keep going ahead with uh, Last Redoubt. And we've actually broken through the line so far, so we got to be very careful because we're out of manpower. We're mobilizing more, of course, but we got to just be careful. we got to core more stuff here. They're forcing the defense. Uh, for us at this point, we're just going to say we can just move around them. Take them out as fast as we possibly can. You know, the good stuff. Yeah, they're actually forcing defense, which is kind of insane to think about, but whatever. Um, yeah, just keep beating the crap out of them. See what you can do. Special forces help lead the way, which is very nice. Um, yeah, they've lost 2,000 now. It's very nice. There you go. Nice. Made that alone. So I in, there should be close to 3,000 losses now. Which is awesome. Keep it up, keep it up. Guerrilla Warfare. Uh, con tools. Tools are the backbone of any industry and of any intentions of maintenance, too. Well, we want to make sure they have the best tools and as many as we can, whether we intend to make them ourselves or discern which ones are worth saving from the junkyards. But we're going to do that one first. I forgot uh, about this stuff, too. Like we did earlier in the episode. Uh, let's wait to become a spy master first. You can only do so much. Given so much materials. Of course, we, I, we made our divisions bigger, thicker, stronger. Um, all the good stuff that you really should be doing already. But... Make Casper bigger, but whatever. Lost Captain. Eh, keep it a Lost Cabin. There you go. Yeah, it's level 8. Uh, can we promote the node? Casper, that'd be nice. Tracking Dogs are good too. Uh, we'll go that one as well. Level 5 finally. It's pretty good. Over here, Bomb Gliders because you can. I thought we'd really use them though. Get a tiny bit of map power, hopefully. Empty armor's looking pretty good. You guys aren't moving in at all. But time of celebration. In, in recent years, the cons had not really much cause for celebration. Uh, whether they, they dwell in the north or the south, thanks to the long years of travel and frequent dep deprivation. Time to change our and with them the cons fortunes. The numbers had steadily grown, food stores were healthy, and they could even be considered wealthy now. Even more important, however, was the long divide between distant cousins had been closed and the cons now were one tribe, even if the tragedy had set the event in motion. With that reunion came a new certainty in course. It was Regis who suggested a feast in celebration to let everyone's hair down, which had grown quickly into a several day festival across con territory. Uh, hatchets were buried, new loves were sparked, and cams and booze flowed freely. It got a bit out of control by the end, with the cleanup taking several more days, but all agreed to have been well worth it. All throughout the festival, the most toasts were dedicated to Regis. Oh, look at the Undying Spirit as well. Nice. Very good. They're still forcing the defense, which is kind of nuts. And the end just makes them really weak. Photo blues, that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Bricks? Yes, please. Hey, cut off. Nice. And killed. Go to the scrapyard. Ah, beautiful. Well, let's do something right in this episode. Um, I'm not sure if we can really beat these guys up. We could try. Then I want you guys to come over here and see if you can just, like, force your way through. Three tiles. Oh, we can cut all these guys off over here. Oh. Oh, they're fighting Sitting Rock and these guys. That's not good. Oh, they're also fighting the Ruminators. That's not ideal. Huh. Well, alright then. Good luck with that. Probably need that up there. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, here. Quadrant searching. Yes, please. Con tools. Age of prosperity. We've had a lot of hard times, no one can deny that, whether they're a con of the north or south. Those times might just be coming to an end now, though. We're stronger than we ever have been, and it's time to enjoy it. Yeah, pretty much. Good, good, good. Transport gliders, because it can. This might be a mistake. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Grinding to that army XP and having the 
power arm, uh, not power arm. Special forces do what they must. They attack us, not quite. Just beeline down through there. And if you can help them out, do that too. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, now they're starting to attack us. And we're going to attack them in reverse. Go. We do more damage if we attack on it, if we move on to the attack. Spread out. There we go. Uh. There you go. See what you can do there. At least that's good for an encirclement. Our attacks aren't doing quite well up here, though. Not ideal. But down here, they're doing great. And if we can't win the attacks up there, we'll probably lose, but whatever. Best of the best. Good. Good, good, good. Looking very ideal. Very nice. Sarbin, yeah, we've lost 200 versus, which is not bad. And actually, for the Spec Ops, I've actually throw on mobile cams and mobile recon because it actually gives them more armor and better HP bonuses too. So logistics, more arm, it gives you more armor and HP compared to normal logistics, which would hurt your armor amount, and you get worse piercing. And overall, you get some breakthrough as well for mobile logistics compared to normal logistics. A little more defense, you get 10% initiative, 20% initiative with these guys, and mobile maintenance. Um, energy cell capacity, armor, plus 20% HP, this goes only gives you 10, so I think logistics honestly would be better. It's not bad. Future of the Khanate. Uh, I guess, through it all, the Khans of Wyoming become the last bastion of the culture, and so it's time to decide where we should set down our deepest roots. Level will always be home. Casper, economically powerful. Let's go level. The open road. For bikers to continue to ride as fast and free as they have, then we need to fix the roads. We'll send out work teams to ensure that they are befitting of our newfound oil hungry stallions. Oh, yes, please. Trucks. Oh, I guess I want trucks. Motorized vehicles. I guess it makes more sense for that one speed, but I don't want to hurt a reliability either. The better way. With our auto care techniques, we've learned to make better accommodations for it across the board. Now our factories will be able to supply an even better work with the materials. Oh, you get more attack here, too. On core territory. Reliability. Add tire profile. Uh, new forages still. Our efforts to attract artificers have been born the fruit of many skilled hands. Now all they need to do is place work. At least we can do is provide such. Further refinement. With skilled hands and working forges, we're running out of ways to make our equipment better. The final thing to consider is material. Weak alloys and impure metals should be weeded out, leaving only the purest steel. Well, we've done quite well so far. See what you can do. Cut him off. Oh, oh, no. Oh. 115 is quite a few days. That's different than before. Alright then. At least those guys are gone. That's good. Which means these guys are all in circle, which is good. Up and road's good. New forges? Yes, please. Bacos Colony, yes police. And more stability of course as well. Very nice. There you go. Paul Nurino, goodbye. Thank you. We continue to beat the crap out of them. Or just go in there too. I mean, that would also help out, you know. Nice. Very good. See what you can do. Pretty good. Um, we're working on compliance. Compliance actually is pretty strong in the center here, which is pretty nice. Resistance is slowly going down, generally, but it could be better. Help stem the tide of how much resistance we're going to have, really. Um, further refinement. What's this one? Paid and kind. Oh, this would be good, good for compliance growth speed. Uh, 
we're the masters of this land now, that means we get a cut of whatever action goes down in it. Call it tribute, taxes, actually screw taxes, call it teeth. And never know the bitter springs. Infantry, intermediate infantry attack, which is great. Our preparations are complete and our warband stand better equipped than ever. Never worry will foreign armies march onto our soil and butcher people. Any who try to try will find themselves at the wrong, wrong end of a rifle. Use what we can. Gathering resources is key to any feature here in Wyoming. Knowledge of it as well as paramount. Industrial means. Setting up industry across the land is always nice. Industrial capacities. Butcher for exponential growth. Uh, but uh, in such troubled times will lead us to better days. Actually, for here. Did I grab. Yeah, this would be nice to do too. Did I grab this? No. We definitely need that. No, might as well do this one next. Good. Because right now, this is what we look like. It's 18 combo width, which is not terrible. Um, but I guess they're throwing on all this other stuff here, too. Initiative plus 20% is not bad. Mobile recon, though? Still not bad. We're going to go with mobile logistics. We just need more army XP for all this stuff, anyways. And hopefully we can start coring stuff around here. Um, 24,000 is quite a bit, so we got to save some political power for that. Uh, Vipers, Casper, what do we got here? Nothing? Darn it. Darn, we can use more PP. And Special Forces, they're alright. They're only 16 combo with, which is not ideal. I wish they were thicker, but it's not much we can really do about that, you know? Keep working on that for now, which is good. Um, who else do we have? So we went with Wayless Thomas. Uh, as much as I really, really want Crazy Eyes the Nightmare um, for more political power, I want to use people who are unique. So, intermediate infantry tech nice. So with this, I guess we'll go with Scavenger Johnson. That's good. I'm glad since she's not the country leader, he's not the country leader. It's a very special individual who gets what they dreamed of, and I'm not very special. I have enough of what I need, however, and I'll care for my people as I always did. That will not change. The years have begun to finally make their way felt in Amgalan's formerly sturdy shoulders. His dreams of teaching the Khans a new way of life are spent now, surrendered in the face of his kin wishing to follow another. There's still his people, however, and nothing could change them. So he wakes each morning and does what he can. Whether the administering of medicine, tutoring the next generation of Khans, or acting as a liaison to those who end up subject to the Khan of Khans, will. Tomorrow is another day after all, and it can still be better than today. The old softy, eh? Just let them attack us for now, it's fine. Good. A rat apprentice becoming an urban assault specialist is still very nice, too. Yay, more compliance, I love it. The better way, yes, please. Best stimulus. Well, we got that one done already. Focus fire. Oh. Under righteous, the Khans have made steady friends in the tribes of Standing Rock. For the Khans of tribes of Standing Rock, the future's always been uncertainty. Today, today, however, many will be able to change their fate by force. Well, we'll see. Grenades, yes. Oh, did they win here? No, they didn't. They, they stopped attacking because they lost. We went with energy weapons for this one, which is fine. Hopefully they start attacking here soon again. If not, it's totally fine as well. Dream roll. We don't have any infantry, so that would be a kind of a waste. Cameron Weber. Samuel. Give me some busts to kick and pass the whiskey. I'm getting bored. As a follower of the apocalypse, an Amgalan's band of cons wandered the waste, and they frequently were forced to clash with various raider gangs and hostile tribes. You just met a few skirmishes before the followers hurried on in hopes of safer locales, but there came a year where they were effectively besieged. Samuel was a young man within his gang named the Eye Biters. Under their leader, took an interest in the followers' stock of cams, meds, and other supplies. For a full year, the expedition was trapped in an old series of mine shafts, unable to move in large numbers without being attacked. The siege was broken when Amgalan himself led a group to surprise the Eye Biters at the camp and kill the cannibal's gang leader in the night. Many of the biters scattered began fighting in the days after, but some were impressed enough to join the cons, although any cannibalism had to be left behind. Samuel was one such recruit. Um, and has grown into an effective war leader and skilled warrior in his own right. Nowadays, however, the, he misses the old Amgalon. Nice. Death of the Ego. The way sun spent about the last 200 years trying to convince us that monsters are the most brutal, unforgiving, after up things on the planet. You know what I say to that? Hold my jet. That's a gosh darn challenge. If we ever seen one, we'll be darned if we let the last wasteland win another one. Enemy attack good. Well, infantry's mid now. Industry's mid. Construction's mid. They're all mid. Are they fantastic? No, but they're just mid. Alright, so that's the case. We're done here. And by done, I mean, you're like, you're all going in, except 
uh, you all. Very up, race your butts in there. Song from the front of you, remember this, but good We're gonna go with the worst part, though. And here come the tons of infantry. Guys, once this is done, we'll start flooding into here. Middle mark is gone. Oh, come on. We were so close. We were so close. They were really forcing the defense, huh? Sons of Kaga. Well, we'll see. Death the Ego. Reign of the Id. We've done it. Rounded up every jet huffing, mole red club, and settler flank, caravan melting, hobo ro robbing raider in this godforsaken state. Now all we need is someone to let, lo let loose against. Of course, being asked to march is living hellfire up the shady sands, but we've got more important business. It's true. Happy uh, November, everybody. They have about 600 manpower, that makes sense. Krill Creek, oh that's pretty good, we can use that now probably in all honesty, as well. This is much more worrying. These guys are right here. Oh, here, have a look. I like a knife in the ribs. Any armor worth its salt is going to have those warriors who rise above the rest. They're the ones who can jab right, right into the right spot and twist in the enemy's guts. We make sure those kind of special soldiers get the best possible uh, gear for inflicting maximum damage. Yeah, why not? Come on, get your butt in there. Dreamer, heart, crusher. Yeah, we'll use you, crusher. That makes sense. Not motorized, focusing arrays. Common energy weaponry would be good. Look at all that stuff. It's not bad. Construction, yes. Public projects, yes. Like a knife in the ribs, which is good. Enemy of Special Forces Tech would help out. Roaring through the Wyoming. Our dominance of Wyoming has cleared up a lot of the local raiders now with great uh, thanks to the ripping and roaring of motorbike engine. Now we ride free and ride together across the steps without so much of a care. As well as opening up auto shops. If we are to continue biking around the land, why not open up little shops for us to repair and refuel at? And what was once home? Vault 15 was once home to our ancestors and many others, including some of our worst enemies. Their humility and origination. Jay had much to show us, and we much to learn. The Rangers were proficient warriors of the modern world. Well, had we their discipline in times gone by, maybe things would have been different. Uh, read this one, read this one. Um, I'm kind of for a horse, the horseman. I guess we get horses eventually. Riding a horse is quite different than riding a motorcycle or moving on foot. The beasts have a mind all their own, not everyone's capable of mastering skill. That being said, they are fine companions, and there are many amongst our people jealous of those who have access to them. Must double the efforts to get capture and team the herds roaming the plains and steps. But I think we'll end it there and we'll keep working on this off screen. So, and hopefully by the beginning of the next episode, we'll have uh, pretty much them all taken out. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do with the great cons. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.